and welcome. Well, in this episode, we are going to be using metal burnishing fluid. This is a product that I use very often in my own modeling, and I'm happy to take some time to share with you how I use it and some of the results. Let's take a look. The use of metal tracks on our models has become very, very popular. Companies such as Fru Model, Master Club, Warp Model, and many others provide these highly detailed workable tracks, and they're great. Problem is that the color is a little bit off, and it takes a lot of work to paint something like that. Well, metal burnishing will take care of this issue for us. Now, this is a product that I've used for a very long time because I do like to use metal tracks. The process is very, very simple. Could not be simpler. I use a glass bowl, and I do prefer a glass bowl. I pour some of the solution in there, and then simply drop in the tracks. Now, the trick here, and there really is only one trick, is just to make sure that you have a nice coating or it's fully submerged into the solution. That's it. That's all we need to do. The other trick, the second trick I guess there is, is just to make sure that all parts are covered. And sometimes, well, sometimes there's a little bit of surface tension or maybe some oils on the surface that need to be broken down. So I found that a toothbrush works great for that, just to give a quick rub, just to break some of that surface tension and allow it to soak in the solution. The longer it soaks in the solution, the darker the part will get. Once you've come to the proper color, just pull it out of the solution Place it onto a paper towel, remove the excess moisture or solution. And then finally, just a quick rinse in some clean water to remove any of the excess, and we're ready to move on. At this point, the track could be used on our models. However, there's a few touches we can add here. Perhaps, for instance, we'd like to show a little bit of motion. To do that, we just polish up some of the high points on the exterior of the track where it may come into contact with the ground and the friction has polished off those high areas. On the interior side, well, the road wheels, they'll do some polishing of themselves. So the fiberglass pen comes in very handy here to show the travel of the road wheels over the surface. At this point, the tracks could be installed onto our model and we could be very, very satisfied. But perhaps we're trying to tie it into a diorama or vignette scene. Perhaps we'd like to show a little weathering. Pigments are a great option here to add some light dust or perhaps even light mud effects. Something a little stronger, a little heavier effects. Well, we could turn to AK Terrains and add those types of heavy mud and heavy dirt, heavy earth types of effects. Once these effects have dried, and it doesn't take very long, maybe 20 minutes, then we can polish back once again with the sanding stick to once again show those high traffic areas, a little bit of polish on those, just the top edges of those tracks. And as you can see, using the metal burnishing fluid is a very quick and easy solution in making your white metal tracks into something very, very realistic on your models. Another use of the burnishing fluid is the treatment of photo etch. Now, I love the look of a model that has all sorts of shiny brass parts hanging off of it. It just looks fantastic. I love that look. However, I've found that sometimes that photo etch is difficult to paint, especially if the details are fine, like a engine screen cover, engine vents, perhaps the bed spring armor of a T-34. Anything that's got a tight weave, well, you have to add so much paint to it in order to cover up the shiny brass. It becomes a problem, you might destroy the part. This is where the burnishing fluid comes in great. Treat the parts with the burnishing fluid, take it to a darker color, then go ahead with lighter colors of paint, or perhaps just go straight to weathering for fantastic results. Well, that will conclude this short little demonstration into the burnishing fluid. I hope that you found something useful out of this, or at least a little bit entertaining. Until the next time, guys, take care and happy modeling.